Okay, so this will continue uh, before I do that. The rules are uh, uh, during the break, questions from the audience and questions of um, general interest with, uh, uh, as well. So our thing is, if I'm working in the field, yeah, some things become obvious and I don't discuss anymore, but maybe it's not so obvious to you. Um, so the question was well, by uh, uh, type 1 zero. Estimates there yeah, by, uh, by uh, 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 something more complicated. Well, uh, the reason is uh, we want to have uh, the possibility of uh, uh, there's a chance to have uh, homogeneous symbols. If you have homogeneous symbols, then it means automatically uh, type 1 zero. Yes, it's, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and you want homogeneous symbols because. We want to support the patterns. And we want to reduce. Uh, if we want to reduce uh, questions about uh, electricity, etc., uh, to a bright question concerning the principle inner symbol and solving body here and solving bonus. So we want some really homogeneous. Yeah, okay. So then. Um, <coughs> Uh, I was sort of uh, hesitating how much I tell you about now these uh, edge papers, uh, the formula, formula is easily uh, become quite long and no manipulations. But always, so this is not just uh, guessing or some tricks, it is just we have a machinery, yeah? only that the computations are. So it's, that is, is their sort of routine. Yeah? And, once when I set up uh, a calculus. So I thought I I go for this. Okay. Hope you agree. Uh, so okay, so we are um, so now we want to basically uh, 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 we have a uh, smooth uh, manifold boundary. Uh, yeah, because we have a number of, of, of boundary for the boundary conditions that we have uh, to uh, to uh, vector, field, uh, vector fields uh, in F complex vector fields over the boundary, taking care of that. Otherwise, our operators are scalar. We could also easily have our uh, system stuff, yeah? That is uh, but just to explain ideas of uh, scalar operators are fine. Yeah, so then uh, uh, we expect uh, uh, our operators in the calculus to be of that form uh, A plus G. And as we had before, T, K, S, and then they uh, take uh, uh, a smooth functions on X with a degrees of theta P. Uh, and the smooth functions are uh, 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 on X, or the theorem of X is a degrees of theta P, and then you know this uh, boundary contributions, <coughs> and the components A, uh, G, T, K, S are the similarity. So that's what, that is what we expect. Here in here we have the time T, the time is seen in the G and in the T. Okay, so um, maybe uh, before we uh, see some details, we uh, start with the principal symbol structure. It's always uh, the first thing to do. And yeah, what I mean, uh, we have these. Uh, so for the principal symbol, the two dimensional principal symbol, yeah, this is here by the side, are uh, only here the A is responsible. And so therefore, um, so we, we write the A as an as an as an adjective operator in that form, and the principal symbol is uh so just you take here the uh, leading part of A. Yeah? So what what happens is the principal symbol taking taking the leading part of A is of the form that form x psi x here this is uh, homogeneous of degree m x is positive so this cancels oh no no this is yeah see this first yeah um if you if you if you have a, a, a true uh, a cone this doesn't any longer work and then we have also then we have also z variable and the yeah, so if you have yeah, the, the, and then if you have z and uh, z theorem and this has no factor x so this doesn't any longer work it becomes more complicated 
but uh, as long as um, we stay among forces boundaries, that's what we get. Okay. Um, and then uh, we have now the uh, principal boundary symbol, which is operator valued. And I uh, don't want to much go into the details about orders. I've just written here M prime. Yeah, so, uh, so what happens so if we have the minor fraction? Okay, minor fraction. Uh, okay, then a suitable boundary uh, a problem is uh, uh, gamma not gamma one. It goes from mm, to smooth boundaries. Also, maybe I should have written here similar space. Yeah, H S. And then it goes here to uh, h s minus four, and here we have h s minus one half on the boundary, and here we have the Neumann trace. Also, well, I mean, this is, this is traditionally called the gamma one. In my notation would be gamma negative one, but okay. Yeah. Uh, also, we get something like that. You see that operator is of order one half, that operator is of order three over two. So we might have different orders. So there are ways are uh, there are uh, <coughs> order reductions you can have them all the same order if you like, yeah. Then it simplifies a little bit of writing up stuff. Or you find just it's just a sort of uh, bookkeeping bookkeeping here, yeah? that, 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 that you get. Uh, I don't want to discuss that here. Uh, I just Put an M prime. M prime is supposed to be a vector. You can have all this different orders, which I might might be there. And then if I uh, if I write uh, things here, uh, no wait. So this M here, then I did not change uh, annotation. It's not that M, but it's this M and this M prime together. Okay, I could have just used bold shapes or something. Yeah. Okay. The, the orders are not important in order to understand the structure. Yeah, of the, of the problem. Yeah, and then to basically uh okay the principal symbol now is just uh of that form. So basically uh we need to take a principal symbol of each of these guys. Yeah, so that we get something homogeneous if we want, so uh with that twisted homogeneity. Ah, well, that was wrong, wrong direction. So that is uh, homogeneous. And then uh, point wise, it belongs to the characters we had before. This n minus being the rank of the uh, bundle E and uh, uh, n plus being the rank of bundle F. And, well, yeah. and then it takes a, a SP to SQ. And ellipticity is then also uh, the invertibility as an operator function. Yeah, the point wise invertibility of that one. Not only that this is here non zero everywhere, but this, this one has to be point by the So uh, due to homogeneity, if you have basically fixed uh, fixed coordinate system, it uh, reduces to the question uh, if this operator is invertible if our uh, modus of either is one. Yeah, we have some homogeneity. <coughs> okay, and then there is uh, a compatibility condition uh, between the two. So basically, um, um, if you uh, take the edge principle symbol of this guy A, then it is basically a co-degenerate or two dimensional operator as before. The, and, and, and it has a principal symbol, and that principal symbol of that guy is uh, the principal symbol uh, of this, uh, here, in that guy has x, at x equals 0. Yeah? So this gives you an intrinsic characterization of of, of the principal symbol space. Yeah, I don't want to say more about that. Um, okay, so yeah, we know what possible principal symbols are. We have sort of description of some space. Um, okay. So and then especially important is the full sequence of quantum uh, symbols because. Uh, this allows us to control uh, the asymptotics we want. That uh, operators act uh, con uh, continuously between spaces having uh, address of type P. 
on one side and that is of type Q on the other side. And basically here we just uh, copy from from uh, the simulation uh, we had before. So uh, we had here our sort of uh, algebraic gamma functions for this two asymptotic types Q and Q. So that is the quotient is of order n minus j. And then uh, the uh, j's uh, conormal symbol, the n minus is the order of that symbol, the j's conormal symbol uh, is, a, is, a, is a polynomial in, in, uh, in the inner world, in the core world, of the degree at most j. And yeah, so all together, we have here uh, the order m minus j plus j is m. Yeah, as, it, as, it, as, it, as it should be. We have our uh, smooth dependence on the, on the y variables, and it takes values here in this uh, space of uh, holomorphic uh, million symbols of order zero. We had some yesterday. Yeah? So that is here, uh, by the way, that is a uh, uh, nuclear fresh space. This one, yeah, so it makes sense to write. Ah, that's, that is, that is, uh, uh, that is, that is, that is the whole trick. So here I left out uh, the boundary contributions from yesterday. We know it is, it is not enough to prescribe the principal symbols. Then we have also uh, to uh, do something about the uh, remainder terms, which are green operators. But once that is basically uh, uh, done correctly, then we get that class. That is was the same idea as yesterday. That's the basic idea to uh, describe the um, symbols. Okay. Yeah, and potato uh, model. And just maybe if I'm allowed to remind you what that was. Um, it was just um, gamma z. And minus j, and here we have no, have no other, uh, um, and, uh, um, uh, here no dependence on, on the z variable. But here we have just the additional property that here also the operators um, uh, uh, have our coefficients which are smooth up to uh, x equals zero. If you now take here uh, for P and Q, uh, uh, the asymptotic type, uh, you have uh, P not twice, so maybe you have just a gamma function, yeah? Then you get a certain class of operators, uh, not necessarily having the property, uh, if you write them in a standard way, that the conditions are smooth up to uh, x equals zero. But this is then, in that case, it is essential. Okay. So and then uh, yeah, we need to check again that we get basically that things are, are close in a composition yeah, and up to these uh, 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 green terms uh, so it just amounts to uh, see what happens to uh, so okay from from the general edge calculus uh, we already know uh, that if you just compose two edge general operators you get another edge general operator yeah, this, this is the result you can use from show the theory. You don't have to reprove that. Yeah, and then the only thing we need to check is that we that we get uh, the correct um, that we get the correct uh, uh, quantum symbols. And so here here's a formula uh, uh, for comp computing this quantum uh, symbol. It's basically uh, the same as yesterday where we had some many translation product. And we have here this uh, uh, the J's quantum symbol. We have here the shift according to the order. But now um, we have additionally uh, the y variables, and this is just basically a composition of two dimensional operators. And then we get, as uh, usual, uh, a, a composition formula, which in general is just a topic. Yeah? You just uh, have this factor in front of everything. You uh, take other variables with respect to the co variables, other variables with respect to the variables, and then you get an asymptotic sum. And then, yeah, we're happy with that. In our case, we are uh, a bit better because we know that this is a polynomial of degree uh, 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 j in either. So we can have here at most uh, j derivatives. After that, that is zero. 
So that is effectively five and seven. Yeah, because of this uh, special properties that this are on this. That is that is that is actually true for any edge degenerate operator, not only in our case, so any edge degenerate operator has such polynomial symbols. Yeah? It's always a polynomial in either. So and then um you just plug in and check that seems to work, right? So we have to go um so maybe let me write Modify m double prime, so we want to compute m double prime minus L C A B on X E. So then we get it here the um the chain has to be L alpha is the whole string, one over alpha, and then um we take here the I continue here. And we have here the inner derivatives of something which is um, gamma z because plus m minus j, but now we get here this shift. Uh, so then uh, here we get that shift, so we get here m double prime minus l uh, for the r or the end of an r. That's the q in the middle. Okay, and we have here. Um, yeah. Also, this is uh, L, of course, L, and 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 L, Z and the gamma less than say a uh, k probably uh, a gamma by z. Ah, so here's here's the shift. Sorry, but this does not uh, address the nature of this condition. And then we have so something like that. Yeah, and then you see now here these these terms are not affected. Here by these differentiations, so we have S before this cancellation, yeah. and uh, uh, eventually, also uh, here we get a, a polynomial of degree uh, beta so minus alpha. Yeah, uh, if, if alpha is uh, is uh, larger than beta, it is zero anyway. So we can uh, assume that the length here of alpha is the most the length of beta. Here we get another gamma. I think it certainly is less than this one, and having that is uh, less than L. Yeah, this becomes a polynomial of, of degree uh, uh, at most L. And here we get, uh, doing all this differentiation, yeah, it stays smooth and wide, and we have a polymorphic dependence of the correct order. So you get that. So basically, the same argument as before. Actually, uh, it also works with uh, some uh, a bit more complicated. It also works if you have uh, 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 a variable broadening. Yeah, we can also then define uh, yeah, so if uh, 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 the uh, exponents p and the multiplicities are not dependent on y. I can also, yeah, it also works. It's then more a bit, like, a bit complicated, but uh, yeah, then also this uh, form of the uh, uh, of the conical symbols is not that simple. But I don't want to discuss that. Now, what I wanted to say is, uh, if if necessary, if in some case, uh, yeah, for some reason, for some application of the variables, the other topics, possibly can also be said. But then, uh, okay, so. And then we have here the scholarly, and because here uh, we have shown it, so we have an uh, actually an operator taking R, uh, q to r, and we have another one taking p to q. So the composition r uh, takes takes on the like p to r, and this edge degenerate of the corresponding order. Mm -hmm. And if I write things here, that I, I should have said it. Uh, so there's always a uh, 
uh, a formula here for this uh, uh, resulting type, which is of that form, but uh, this formula is only valid actually if, say, uh, if I uh, assume m prime to be an integer. Otherwise, it looks a bit more complicated. Yeah, basically, uh, uh, I suppose the type of the composition is this uh, computer. Yeah, so it, uh, uh, it looks easiest in case uh, as m prime is an integer. Okay, so now we just uh, I'll show you a little bit of uh, details, but not much. So I uh, 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 do here these uh, the easiest case. Uh, so uh, uh, so uh, as I said, yeah. So locally near the boundary, so we have these these operators R, here's P and Q missing. That's good, yeah. Here we have the P, here we have the Q. Uh, then basically operators in the calculus are of the form, um, as I said, yeah, so basically uh, we have an oper operator function which uh, takes values in uh, what we had before, depends on the variables y and either, and then we can't test it. And then there's a remainder term. Actually, the remainder term uh, here is also a typo. Now uh, the gate operators actually also have an order. Yes, that is R. This is basically um, the YZ, um, going back to here, uh, here. Yeah. So uh, before, for the Cohen calculus, basically everything with this was G, K, S, and T uh, was found back. That is not any longer true. So now, uh, clean operators also have uh, uh, an order. And so basically, uh, it must be here, what is written down here, uh, minus E delta D green, also green, sorry, uh, the green is the psi. Okay, that is, I'm not, this, uh, I'm not going to discuss these green operators as before, they are essentially given by the non properties. As so basically, uh, you just, uh, uh, you want to have smoothing operators, and you uh, let's say what's that column stuff. And you write the column essentially as tensor products. Yeah, so it's like uh, so tensor products of the form uh, less factor. Uh, so before it was less factor in, in, in the Schwartz class, I factor in the Schwartz class, physical equation. You do at that point the same thing. Okay? So, but uh, besides that, so the main contribution comes from here. Yeah, so we need to oh, I need to understand that, yeah, and this is so supposed to be an operator function that takes values in what we had before in the Cohen calculus uh, along uh, uh, the uh, uh, non-positive uh, the Cohen is, is the non-negative integers, and then we want uh, because of uh, of 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 um, uh, continuity, uh, so for continuity reasons, yeah. We want also that this A belongs to this SM, not D cross RT. And here we have some this uh, two spaces. Uh, and uh, basically we want that to be true with uh, with um, um, group actions. And the group action, what is the, what is the group action? Um, well, the easiest case is um, So the easiest case is that we have something like that, which is delta RP plus, and we have here say C minus, C and minus, and say, uh, suppose we have no, uh, no log terms. Okay? Then uh, we get a matrix, that acts here upon that space is the proper lambda we had before, 0, 0 here, and the identity. That is, that is the group action. Yeah? So here basically it does nothing. Yeah? So see, this is here and minus. And if 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 uh, we have log terms, then it just looks a little bit more complicated. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the group action that we want. So these here are basically, uh, yeah, so it takes values in here, but it's also a symbol as we have, uh, in the daily had before. Because our, our, um, 
our um, spaces, our, our function spaces, at least in the local model, are abstract uh, edge spaces, um, then get the basically continuity as the points. Okay? For L2 base spaces. Not for LP, but for L2, we have a bunch of and uh, we get these uh, properties. Okay, and uh, actually, uh, we also want, so this we can have, so we cannot have a, a classical symbols, but we can have a principal symbol. So we get just one leading term, which is, which is homogeneous. Yeah, this is enough uh, to get a homogeneous principal symbols. Okay, so I just, um, just focus here on the uh, easy thing that is this is case. Okay, this just leads to 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 children of operator in in the boundary. That is that's not interesting. So the the symbols are uh, uh, interesting part is the K. And then it only looks a little bit complicated. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. As we have the K, so potential operator or potential part of our boundary symbol, if you like. Um, this is a K, and the K is, okay, so now uh, I just uh, describe it and just write this is P from my asymptotic point, and then we want basically uh, something, so we just split up things, and we want this, we get it uh, from uh, CMP, and should have to Yeah. Okay. And uh, then uh, we choose an F. Then S. What is this? Uh, M plus M minus Delta plus one half. Uh, R D plus R D. And here uh, I go from. So this is this our group action. And this just goes to C, which is just here, uh, the group here acting here as identity. Yeah. And then we start, uh, still want to have this coefficient. Uh, then we take a tensor product, to complete a tensor product uh, in that space. So here again, uh, if you know what the production tensor product doesn't matter, whatever you take here, it's a nuclear space. Yeah. And uh, uh, so this is one nuclear. So, all, all. Uh, all, uh, this, so, so this case is not nuclear. It becomes nuclear if you are required to be classical. Yeah, but that, that one is, and that is, that is, that is, that is not enough. Um, yeah, and so we start with that, and then we said, okay, so uh, we take your vector in CMP, and we do the following thing. So R, we start with an F, and then we have here all the circles Y either, and from here we get an x, then we just multiply uh, x by by by, by yeah. in brackets, and, and then let it act on c. And then uh, apparently, so what we uh, what we what we what we get is apparently uh, a function in S Q, right? But we want also to see that our that this is basically our in the corresponding space here that if we have um, you want to get also this property. Yeah? And this property because uh, 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 the, the potential parts are uh, uh, part x from here to here. Uh, this basically uh, means uh, we go from here to here. So now this actually becomes replaced by an even better space by S Q. Okay? So um, so let's see, uh, uh, what do we have to do? So we just, uh, 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 well, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, so without derivatives, uh, we have here uh, the, the group uh, pi acting, uh, acting directly on C, then we have CF, and then uh, we have uh, the inverse of the uh, group K. And K is just this inverse, it contributes to the minus one half. And uh, the x gets uh, multiplied by by either to the one that is and this is untouched. Okay. That is that's untouched, and uh, directly from from that one, uh, we get the estimate that 
Um, so yeah, if he now takes the norm, uh, uh, the operator norm, so actually it doesn't end up in that space, but here in, in that, yeah, this, this, this much smaller space. Um, and then here the order was uh, L minus delta plus one half. Here we have the delta minus one half. So uh, in, in, in total, the order is F. So we get that SC. Okay. So in similar, in similar, um, in similar, uh, basically for derivatives. And now basically uh, every every of these uh, uh, at least every of these four guys is introduced in the same way. Uh, the A is a bit more complicated. Yeah. But it uh, can also be done. Uh, you just basically uh, uh, check out what Schuze has done in the case of 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 of, of the Tiedemann yeah. Bell when you reformulate it as an Ash calculus and do exactly the same. Yeah. His arguments go through at that point. So, so but now you could say, okay, fine, but in the beginning. You told us, in the beginning you told us that uh, the gamma, uh, the capital gamma, PK, um, it was defined as in that way, so yeah, obviously this, this factor is not that important. Uh, you need the Fourier transform, Fourier transform of, of um, F X here yeah, times uh, X minus P. Um, that is a that is a that is a, 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 a potential operator. Uh, and just uh, to make such a claim, uh, we have to check. Yeah, so that, that, that is supposed to be now the K, and we have to find the F. Uh, I just make such a claim that the, the, the potential operators in the calculus are of that form. With such an F, you have to find the, um, 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 the F. And, uh, well, um, well, here we go. Yeah, so uh, I do a bit more general, there are much more, more cases, but I just uh, let X, even let act here an operator of, 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 of order zero on the coefficients. So I have BK acting on WK. Uh, so the vector, uh, so the, the, the WK, these are functions of Y. Are, uh, they are from from uh, what we already know. It is the uh, it is the uh, uh, correct um, uh, trace space. So I I take the WK uh, from that space. Yeah, and so here yeah. this uh, this is uh, C and P. We have the group action, and then I claim that this operator is uh, sending this vector W. We are consisting of this uh, W K uh, to that function is an operator from here to here, and uh, well, and uh, so I claim that this can be written as a K Y D one that operator, and K is exactly of that form. And then basically, uh, the f r is c to be z1. Mm -hmm. So here we have, uh, so uh, the p now is, uh, the q, q now has, has become p. Okay? The uh, q, uh, q has become p. So here uh, we, uh, see this, uh, we see this function. Functions are um, uh, uh, in that space here, in, 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 in here, in that space, which is now uh, is p. And so then that is a vector. Here we have another vector. Here we start with uh, C is a vector consisting of 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 of, of NP, uh, complex numbers. And here we just take our uh, uh, usual scalar product of vectors. So that's our F. So I'm not going to, 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 to show you this. But then you directly yeah, from that uh, description, uh, you can see that the F. Uh, we get is uh, uh, basically our S is a little part of P. It depends uh, uh, basically on the uh, wide here. So with these uh, Peter, Peter things, uh, it is, uh, it, 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 as an operator, it goes from C and P, this group action to C, and then tensor here is our 
other uh, functions as P as it has even a complex support, yeah, this is even better than uh, no, the complex uh, is only support, yeah, this is even better than being an SP. So, and this is how it's done. Uh, things for you, one has to check that the, 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 the examples are, are in, and otherwise, uh, for each of these uh, terms, it is, uh, yeah, we, are, we are given such a description, depending on what we have here, but whether it's just the, uh, the green part here, or it's just the trace part here, or whatever, yeah, it's always uh, uh, done in the same way. And then we get our calculus. So the A is a bit more complicated. But for the A, I said, okay, uh, take any edge operator and control the Kulnok uh, uh, symbols. That, that does the job. Okay, here's the Kulnok symbols, but this one. So, and what we get then, now just the summary. You know, uh, I have a, just a binding mark, so how do we get here from what is, what is our uh, principle, uh, so the contribution coming from the k, uh, k to the principal symbol, well, that's, that's a general rule, yeah? so you uh, take the f not only to be uh, in, in, in that space, but you take it classically, or at least you have a principal, a legal principal symbol, you take the principal symbol and uh, you replace that uh, here in brackets by uh, the absolute, absolute value of the, you get something homogeneous and, and that's it. Yeah. That's, that's always the same way. Okay, so then in our summary, okay, so now, uh, as I said, so, uh, uh, M is here a multiple order, we have a fixed PQ, we have a compact manifold, we have delta, we have the type. The type tells us uh, how big uh, the S has to be. And here also, uh, we have here just some, some, some multi-order, which I just do you know, as prime, as double prime, I don't care about the orders. You get such mapping properties. Yeah, so you get basically uh, right continuity properties. We stay. Uh, so the composition uh, stays in the class. So here, uh, this new type is effectively computable. If m prime is an integer, the m prime, uh, the m prime coming from from the A, oh, yeah, I should be more careful here. It is going to be. This is only uh, occasionally you see this correct formula here. Um, so then uh, I gave you uh, uh, a, a description of the principal symbol space. This was a description here on what we had here on uh, 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 that slide. Yeah, we have here the principal symbol, there's the principal symbol here, close together. Uh, this can be intrinsically described what we get, yeah? And so, but if like this, this, this guy has to be uh, homogeneous and both have to be compatible. And if you have that, then uh, you get what, what I uh, told you yesterday as the most, most important things in Barbara's construction and electricity. This is uh, a short exact uh, sequence. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, so this map is being so it's subjective. If the principal symbols we are one or better. So then I uh, will basically use the uh, standard, uh, uh, standard arguments for the system uh, applying. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit fast, but I think it's okay. So, um, and uh, okay, so then uh, we have the utility, it's just here. Uh, the, the electricity is always. Yeah? In a well organized calculus, electricity is always uh, pointwise invertibility of all principal symbols. Pointwise invertibility of all principal symbols. Yeah, so if uh, the principal symbol of this component, it's actually our principal symbol has two components, uh, if the principal symbol is just a function, then it means uh, invertibility pointwise means it is non zero everywhere. Right? If it's operator value, then it means for every y in either, this operator has to be invertible. Yeah, and as this uh, is a co-independent operator, so you see uh, the necessity uh, already in the cone calculus uh, to add here this boundary contributions. Yeah? Before it was unnecessary, 
and the elliptic of the principal symbol almost all any by the complementary condition, the phone cap is implied that the operator going from here to here was wrapper. But now we really needed the model. Yeah? And this was basically the reason to, 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 to add things there. So then uh, we have um, 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 yeah, our uh, meta theorem. So basically, uh, calculus is complete once we have this theorem. Yeah? That is basically uh, A, so uh, the following uh, three conditions are equivalent. A is elliptic in the sense that uh, the principal symbol is uh, 0.1% vulnerable everywhere. Uh, as such a map, it's, it's, it's a random operator for some s large enough and then automatically for all s. And uh, actually, uh, more is true. Uh, the, uh, the kernel, if that holds, yeah, then the kernel of that operator is contained in, uh, is independent of s. And the kernel is contained of. Uh, is contained, so it's this final dimension, and it is contained in here. C, it's independent Then also the co kernel, so usually the co kernel one uh, uh, it takes a kernel as the adjoint. So our, I told you here in this calculus only for the human well, that there are certain problems in getting adjoints in the calculus. Style, uh, sort of thing, yeah? so basically, uh, the adjoints belong to, to something. Yeah? Of course, you have adjoints. Yeah? You can also describe the adjoints, uh, but uh, there are certain problems yeah, to do it here yeah, to, to, to get it included uh, 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 in the calculus. Therefore, the co kernel, which is then basically a uh, uh, smooth sub, but uh, uh, just a fundamental subspace of the smooth function, this positive of type Q and smooth functions here. Yeah, can be uh, can be um, can be chosen independent independently of this. It means so we have basically operators. They have um, a, a, a closed image, and you basically add to that image a space, a fundamental space of smooth functions, getting uh, the whole space here. Yeah, and yeah this, this, this is implied. And then uh, actually, how this is proven? You start with electricity. Uh, you start with inverting the principal symbols. The principal symbols again uh, are in a principal symbol space here, which is intrinsically described. And so just uh, choose a corresponding operator here, and so on. Yeah, so this is basically done by some parameter construction. And so there is an operator. So okay, yeah. Uh, okay, this is something here. Here, this is a type that's yeah, basically computable, not in that way. It's just good for for, for integer n. Um, yeah, uh, um, yeah, so we get just the other way around here. Yeah, so L and E are change places, Q and P are change places. If you have basically a P A minus identity, it goes from E to E, which is only measured once, and P to P, which is measured once, which is just. Uh, and once we have that, we have all the uh, spectrum, what is, what is called spectral invariance. Once the operator is actually uh, invertible, yeah, in, in application manipulations, you get inversal operators, since the inverse belongs to the calculus. <coughs> okay. And um, from the slide left, and this is called invariance. And there, I must admit that the theorem is not a theorem yet. Um, but we are working on that, and uh, I'm confident, yeah, that's yeah. so. If it is not coordinate invariant, then everything what I said before is sort of wrong. Uh, then I cannot just have x here, and I can have a half space, right? But then I need just also conditions that infinity to, to get the fragment property and so on. Uh, I think uh, coordinate invariance is uh, fine. So I mean, of course, as a change uh, 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 of a convert symbols on a uh, Coordinate changes already in the case of the cone that was that long prominence. And uh, now we have just this y dependent, makes things a little bit uh, more complicated. Uh, the real problem is here. Um, boom, 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 boom. So 
really know, but what is here? The real problem is here that you need to work with that space. Or in advice with that space. That is good. Okay. Good. This is uh is that remark that yeah, so this theorem is not a theorem yet, but it's going it's going to be a theorem. Uh, Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions or problems? As a way, Bottino Mundell is coordinated invariant. Yeah, that is always a good sign. Is it for any day if someone wants to find the variants of this kind, which can be do any definition? We are, we are going to cover it. Okay. So we just need this last one and then. Okay. 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 But I can send it to you. Okay, thank you. I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, in the case where, uh, in the case when you have equal to F, yeah. do you have the adjoint? No. Uh, 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 the problem with the adjoint is it's, it's a very stupid one. Um, 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 I can just um, show it. Um, so basically, our uh, coordinate invariants only uh, for the cone case, uh, uh, then we have the basic grade line. And then the, uh, if you have a one fold here, okay? and then uh, the coordinate invariants implies that the next, this is one fold P, and say, minus is one. Okay? Then you have basically. Uh, Next one must be here. Multiplicity must be at this one. And then we have the next one. The multiplicity can be one or anything larger, nothing smaller. Yeah? But it goes up. Yeah? It goes up. And if you want to uh, form uh, a joint, then you flip it over here. And then basically are the grow into the wrong direction. That's, that's the problem. If you can, you can uh, do something. If it's always fun, which like the case for potato model, then you find other great types, yes, that is fine. Yeah? Then you basically are, uh, you can actually compute the other great types you get. This, yeah? So it has to be always, it has, yeah, so if here, uh, so here the distance has to be less than one, and then everything, everywhere the same mind, is it? Then, then it works. That is also the case for potato model. Still, there are some other problems, yeah, but then, uh, and, uh, otherwise, uh, if you want to describe adjoints, uh, then of course, uh, you have a concrete problem, which means uh, improvement of other products up to here, say, yeah? Say, so, okay, then I sort of cheat, then I just uh, make, uh, uh, turn this one into a two, and then I can do it, and I get basically the structure of the adjoint. Yeah, but this is, this is, this is, this is nothing which works simultaneously for all this. I don't think that it's a way uh, out, out of that problem. That is, um, this is a symptomatic term, but then if I operate as a unitary, mm -hmm. operate as unitary, for example. Unitary? Yeah, then it works. Because no, uh, the question is whether uh, I can the energy uh, describe. That the analytic structure of the adjoint in that form. Yeah, but then it's like it's equal to the inverse, and for the inverse it works. So then uh, it should be uh, what does it look like? Yes, okay, yes, some 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 special cases, yes. But then it's not asymptotic type, it's like another component of the asymptotic type, because then we have still this problem. Um, uh, no, 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 uh, this is, this, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, well, this, this, this asymptotic is always an, an upper estimate of what, what can be there. It can, it can have less asymptotics, of course. Yeah? It can have less. Yeah? And, uh, okay. There are always certain problems. So, we don't have that problem in the human model, but still there are problems with this adjoint. Therefore, instead of the five. 
leave it aside. It's not that important for us to, to, to have the adjuncts. Um, I have no final answer to that. Yeah, or, or no good answer. Not yet. No, well, uh, uh, not yet means that I are, uh, continue thinking about that question, but I don't plan to. <laughs> now, usually I start thinking about a problem if uh, someone is really puzzling me. <laughs> <laughs> it was here uh, the case with Bobby Ivanov and uh, I told you, yeah, the uh, uh, faction of Russian. Or, or I have a little, uh, uh, a little application, yeah, I'm interested in some application. So here the, the interesting point uh, for me, uh, besides Bobby Ivanov, is, uh, is the, Sar the Sarama problem. That is, I think that's one of the big problems in the field. It can basically uh, produce, yeah. You do a boundary reduction and then you get an estrogen operator there. So, what you still need to check is whether um, the isotonics you get there are is, is really constant. I think so, yeah. If not, then uh, we have to go variable. That is then a lot of work. Yeah, so, yeah, so for me, really one of the reasons to do that is. Uh, uh, it's a Sarama problem. And, yeah, if you get me interested in an application where one needs adroids, I will mean, start to think about that. Okay, um, let's thank Professor Lee again. So now there are uh, sandwiches and cakes, and uh, since, uh, since this is the last session, so as a participant, I would like to thank all the speakers and also, of course, the organizers who put so much effort in, in this summer school. And uh, I don't know, I think you want to. So maybe maybe first, first me, as a last speaker, it's my duty to thank yeah, the organizers for this well organized event. Yeah. Michael, but of course, Everyone else here who was, was involved. Yeah. So I like them very much. So I'm not fixing this. Later. Thank you. So maybe some closing remarks. <laughs> yes. Uh, indeed, says um, <coughs> now that we, uh, it was a uh, not so easy uh, week and not so easy 10 days uh, for us to uh, attend the lectures and. Uh, but I hope that uh, we have uh, learned many uh, things in different topics. It was good to observe that uh, all, the, all our speakers put uh, really effort into uh, making a long presentation and, uh, and uh, uh, conveying many ideas for the research topics. So it was certainly very uh, much, uh, for me, it was very interesting and uh, uh, I learned many things here. Uh, so <coughs> having a school is, is a great opportunity when you don't just listen to one lecture but uh, a series of lectures when you can see things in more details. And, and of course we also had uh, short talks which was uh, a good compliment uh, to the school and uh, I should say that this is uh, along, <coughs> as, as some of you know, we obtained the doctoral grants uh, uh, we, 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 for the doctor, we, we obtained a grant from the doctoral schools uh, still before the pandemic, but then we had to postpone uh, and we waited all this whole pandemic. But uh, still, we had this grant and uh, uh, we were allowed to use it, so now we finally uh, have this school. And uh, it's good to see many participants and also people followed, uh, people followed on, online. And, uh, I think we also learned from online uh, uh, broadcasting of hacker attack. <laughs> but then uh, other things, and of course, I should say that uh, it's, it's uh, uh, one must thank uh, uh, many people who were involved into this. I think uh, Oil is, uh, has done the uh, uh, greatest amount of work, but uh, also. Uh, this is Santiago Juan sitting here in the lecture. 
reporting and, and broadcast, and uh, of course many other people helped. Uh, so I <coughs> suggest uh, indeed to, to uh, well, as for, the, as for the speakers, we have a few left, uh, maybe uh, even around, and, and uh, so I suggest to thank everybody uh, for their contribution to the school. So. I think the lecture courses, the, the PDF files will be uh, put uh, online and then uh, the video which was taken, maybe thanks to Junjin, will be uh, available on, the, on YouTube and, and also the, the group picture where there are some people asking, so for a high resolution, so I think also the group picture will be available with all the participants and uh, now we have uh, in this we have cakes and uh, sandwiches and cakes at the same time so I always suggest that we, so we can close with the school if, if there are some questions about mathematical questions to any of the speakers and we will still ask them informally so we will not organize this uh, uh, we will not organize a question official question uh, discussion session Today, so this is uh, can be done informally, but it was indeed a very difficult, it was a very intense program and even less intense than planned because uh, we had uh, other four lectures which would have happened, unfortunately, didn't happen because uh, one speaker got COVID. So we will see if, if uh, tickets are changeable, then maybe uh, he will come later to tell us uh, the topic was uh, pure the differential calculus, but uh, from the viewpoint of Alan Kohn, uh, some more commutative geometric quantization, uh, also very interesting topic, but uh, maybe not, uh, with more geometric flavor, but not, not commutative flavor, but maybe we will have it in some other, some, some other occasion. Uh, okay, so I think that now we stop and uh, and, and maybe to say to our uh, group members that uh, we will continue, maybe after, let us rest a little bit, but then I think the junior, the two seven junior seminar will continue, and those our Friday, same, weekly seminar will continue, but uh, we will get some announcements about that. So, okay, so now I invite everybody to, uh, to the office.